Hey guys, it's Kyle here. Uh, today I have the Panasonic CF54 and the Panasonic uh, CF53. Um, these are both semi-rugged Panasonic Toughbooks. Um, and we're going to go ahead and do a comparison video uh, so you can see which one might work best for you. The CF54 is the successor uh, to the CF53, um, but they are both still available right now. Um, and they're both great laptops for, um, for what they're meant for. I recommend these laptops a lot to police departments um, or anybody that's looking to dock a computer in the vehicle and keep it in their um, vehicle. Uh, this really fits that niche well. Um, they both have the shock mounted um, heated hard drives um, so you're going to be able to drive down the road not have to worry about your computer crashing etc. Um, so the first thing that jumps out to most people right away is the form factor difference of the CF54 versus the CF53. Um, so we'll go ahead and touch base on that first. Um, so you can see just what kind of size difference there is. Um, now overall as far as width and depth, you're going to look at about the same. So if I were to set these two on top of each other, it's going to be about the same um, width and depth um, across the board. You can check out our CF54 and CF53 walkthrough videos to see exactly what those measurements are. Um, the biggest difference here is the thinness of the CF54. Um, the Panasonic has really been able to um, thin down this laptop and still retain its semi-rugged capability and still be very well built and um, you know give you that Panasonic durability. Um, so if I put these two on top of each other, you can really see the difference of just how much um, thinner the CF54 really is. So we're looking at about one inch and a quarter to two inches at the CF53's highest point. So that's almost a full inch difference as far as um, the height of these laptops. So we'll go into a couple more differences here so you can get a good understanding of exactly what you're going to be getting. Um, just another difference um, I want to touch base while we're talking about dimensions is weight. Um, so the Panasonic CF53 is going to come in at about 5.1 to 5.2 pounds. And the CF54 is going to come in around 4.2 to 4.3 uh, depending on what kind of um, stuff you put into it. Um, so you're looking at almost a full pound difference which can really make a difference um, over the lifetime if you're wanting to carry this a lot, especially if you're a business individual, you want to take this you know, on a lot of trips, go to airports, etc. Um, the weight and size difference is really going to matter to you. Alright, some of the other differences is the Panasonic CF53 um, came standard with a multi-drive. Um, this 54 does not uh, come standard with this DVD multi-drive. Uh, now you might think that that's um, a negative for the CF54, but it's really not. Um, one, if you really don't need the DVD multi-drive, you get to save that extra cost with the 54. And it also opens up different options. Um, example is you can put a optional media bay battery into where the DVD drive would go, and that increases your battery life of the CF54. Um, this is extremely important if you're looking to carry this around um, in locations that you're not going to have access to power. Um, and that's an option the CF53 didn't have. So that really opens up the CF54 to um, different, um, different job codes, etc., that it can be used in. Um, some of the other um, differences here is just the material in general. Um, the CF53 uses a more of a glossy um, it's inside finish. This one's a little bit more matte. I really like the finish of this. Um, as far as build quality, they're both built extremely well. Um, you're not going to be upset with either one of the build quality. Both of the hinges are extremely well built. Um, they're, as far as that goes, Panasonic is always top notch. As far as build quality, you'll never have to worry about that. Um, there are a couple port differences. Notably, the CF54 comes with three USB 3.0s. Um, the 53 comes with two. Um, and then it has, I believe, take a look right here, just make sure I'm correct. Another two USB 2.0s on the back, uh, while this one is only going to have the three USB 3.0s. All right, another big difference as far as ports go would be the docking strip on the back. 
so Panasonic CF53 had a insertable dock and strip connector, which um, some people had issues with. Um, so Panasonic has gone to a new dock and strip on the CF54 right here, which is more accessible um, and provides a better connection, etc. And it's easier to undock and um, dock the Panasonic CF54. All right, guys, so that's the Panasonic CF54 and Panasonic CF53. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to us at therugastore.com. Um, our chat line is always going to be open during business hours. Give us a call, send us an email. We'll be happy to answer any further questions you have. Um, and we appreciate you watching this video today. Have a great day.